Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about practice. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what happens if I practice coding for more than 12 hours every single day? Well, I assume that you are going to get really, really bored after a little while. Uh, if you don't, you'll wake up one day and spend you spend most of your life coding, I suppose. Uh, whether or not that's something you want or not, that's up to you to decide. But uh, 12 hours every single day, there is. I can't really imagine how this is relevant. I mean, I'm assuming here that you are a junior level software developer and you're trying to, in your own way, figure out the skill that you will acquire. And this is where it gets so weird for me. This is where I, I really don't understand. And it is, in a sense, I don't know what to call it. It is as it it, it is like people who have n all. It seems no understanding of how achievement works, true achievement. Has this idea that the time that you spend on something is the achievement it is the thing to focus on that that is the thing when if the only time that really is true is if you're like really into averages of things so an example would be if you are into fitness if you work out 12 hours a day well, to, to first and foremost, you're basically going to kill yourself if you do that. But uh, if you were to do that, that would be a way for you to determine roughly the amount of calories that you are going to burn. But if you, on the other hand, said how, if you were to do, say, strength training for 12 hours every single day, then you're going about it the wrong way. Completely the wrong way. Because if we're just working out 12 hours doesn't mean that you're going to build more muscle because the achievement is more complicated than I did this for 12 hours. Yeah, you can sit there with a one sheet kill, like a small weight for 12 hours, and it's gonna make a diff lick of difference. You can also push it to the max for 12 hours after you have eaten a fuck ton of food, and then you're gonna collapse the day after because you're not gonna be able to sustain that because your body is not built to put yourself to the uh, you know put yourself in a max stress situation every single day for 12 hours and the same thing goes for studying if you study for 12 hours every single day well yeah if you're studying language and all you're doing is watching television then perhaps in the language that you're looking for then perhaps but the way that you should at least if you want results think about increasing your coding skill is as I like to say by being object or like a problem focused or you, you, you have a goal of some sort. You don't have to call it a problem, you can call it a goal. Let's call it that. Goal oriented. What do you want to achieve? It's actually that simple. It really is that simple. It is so simple. And it is the the heart and soul of all these self-help bullshit books like The Secret and so forth and so forth where the only thing you have to answer for yourself is what do I want to do? And then break that down into achievable goals. That is the... It's to me this is like the same truth as in the fitness industry where we talk about calories in, calories out, and the entire industry is trying to blur that to the point where they can make a buck from selling you some method to achieve the same damn thing, regardless of how you slice it. It is still the same damn thing. Same thing with achieving things, guys. Self, uh, like these sorts of self. Uh, 
fixing things. It is at the end of the day the same thing, being successful, like all of this sort of stuff. Uh, and so that's why I tell you to be ob object <laughs> goal oriented. And what that basically means is that first and foremost, learn the stuff that is necessary to code. For example, you want to practice coding. All right, cool. Y let's start with the programming language. First question: What what are you going to do with your programming language? If you don't even know that, then why why learn programming? What's the purpose of programming if you don't know what you're going to make with it? It's like learning how to use tools without having anything to build. It's not going to help you. So when you know that, let's say for the sake of argument that you want to go into web. Cool. You want to go into web. You want to build websites. All right. Sit down. Figure out how to build website. Now the first thing that's going to happen is that they're going to there's going to be be a million people telling you what programming language to use, what stack to use, etc., etc. You have no idea, most likely, of on like what to pick. This is where I can start giving you some concrete feedback. Guys, it does not matter what you pick. I swear to you that it does not matter, because if your only goal is to build a website, or do so in a manner that is mainstream, this is where I can help you. This is where I can tell you that, well, you need to take a look at your region. What are the popular programming languages in your region? And now, incidentally, you might notice something, and that is that the goal was never really for you to build websites. It was actually to get a job working as a web developer, professional grade software development with web and build websites for companies. So now you have expanded your understanding of what it is that you're actually trying to achieve. And that means that the, you have requirements, and this is what you're looking for, requirements. Because if you have requirements, that means that you have a goal, you have something to go towards. And when you figure out, let's say for the sake of argument, that in your region everybody does everything in PHP. Cool. Then go and learn PHP and learn how to build a website in PHP. Mm. Pick any website, doesn't matter which one it is, and make it. Make it. And then you do that once, you learn from it, and then you repeat that process and you can do it until you can do it in your sleep. Goal achieved. And after a little while you're gonna realize that there is now a next goal, which is okay, getting your first job, etc. etc. We can go I can sit there and I can break it down for you even further, but it is the same thing. It is always the same thing that you need to do in order to actually make meaningful progress on anything doesn't matter if it's starting a company getting into shape or becoming a programmer like getting into a profession etc etc identify your goal break it down into smaller steps that you can start moving towards and then start taking meaningful action towards that goal so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, if you practice coding for 12 hours every single day, you're probably not going to learn much because that's, it's too loose. If you focus on the time that you spend, it, then you're never going to get anywhere. Because the time is not what's important, it is the quality of the time that you spend. A person who spends 12 hours uh, working every single day has no chance in hell to beat an individual who has as I said, an objective or goal-oriented mindset where they want to achieve something. Because when you have a reason to do something, your retention of the information that you are studying is going to be higher. It's not just spraying all over the place and hoping that you're going to find something that motivates you. It's going to bore you most likely because it's not driving, it, and it's not driving your interest in any way. What is important is that you have something that you really can focus on. Guys, if you have the they have if you're lucky, you might find yourself a project or something like that where you can spend almost endless amounts of time on that one problem because it drives you and it, it you're hungry to solve the problem. And now incidentally that's how you figure out what's the difference between basically every other person on the planet and a professional athlete a scientist etc etc these are the people who find something that they are so passionate about that they will dedicate basically their entire life to doing that thing if you're not that person you're not going to be able to spend 12 hours 
because it ins it's a, no one spends 12 hours doing something that doesn't give you some type of emotional gratification usually but that's as i said that's not the goal the goal isn't the time the goal is the achievement how are you what are you actually getting for the time that you are investing and that's why i tell people start making projects start building things start asking questions and putting requirements on yourself to achieve certain things and then move towards those goals that is going to be very effective uh, probably a lot more effective than anything that includes you measuring how many hours you spent today have a great day